Welcome to the fifth tutorial on TiboCam. In the last tutorial we looked at the Admin tab. In this tutorial we're going to look at the Publish Settings tab. So if you haven't done so, click on the Publish Settings tab. The first thing we've got to do is set up our connection to the internet in terms of saying where we want to publish our images. And you can press Copy FTP Settings and what you'll see is that the settings that we set in our email and FTP tab are copied across. You may want to set these differently but it's a good start to copy them across. Next you want to select a file name. Now bear in mind that it's only it's going to replace the same file every time so um, unlike on our alerts tab which with our normal movement detection we can set a cycle or a timestamp when we're publishing an image we're just going to be replacing it each time the uh, publish uh, settings is basically for where you want to um, publish an image let's say every 30 seconds to a website this is something that um, you may see sometimes on zoo websites when they're monitoring animals um, or you want to see the tiger's cage let's say at the zoo and they'll publish an image every 20 seconds so you can see what's going on there before you visit okay so um, there's a nice little feature of this in that we've got a scheduler um, so if we uh, turn the scheduler on what will happen is that um, the publishing will happen between the hours um, specified in the scheduler so uh, if I switched it on now it would turn on publishing between four o'clock in the afternoon and um, nine minutes to five in the afternoon and it does this all automatically Another feature of the Publish Settings is that we can put a date time stamp on the image or we may just decide to have no date time stamp. I always go for the date time stamp because it's good to see that the image is actually being refreshed, particularly if you're taking an image of a fairly static scene. Let's say it's um, a room in your house or a garden or just outside your house or a park. It helps people or yourself see that the image is actually changing and at the top we have um, the frequency at which we want to publish the image we can publish it in seconds minutes or hours and at the right at the top we've got a published webcam image um, master checkbox so um, if we just want to publish the image consistently every 30 seconds we'd just tick this irrespective of the time it would just keep publishing the image every 30 seconds while Tebow cam switched on I'm just going to show you what happens if with the timing. So I'm going to set the time. Um, going to set the time up. Part, it's now um, ten to six in the afternoon. I'm going to set the timer up. Now watch what happens when I click on this um, checkbox here. You should see the publish webcam image checkbox check as well. Here we go. There we go. It's switched on. And when it reaches. Um, just before nine o'clock this evening it's going to switch itself off. One point to make on webcam publishing and the uh, motion activation or motion detection system. The two work independently so you can have um, motion detection switched on as active and your webcam publishing switched on as well. However if you do do this what I would recommend is that your file name on the publish settings tab is different to the file name in your alerts tab. This is just in case um, uh, Tebow Cam tries to publish at the same time as movement is detected and you may get a conflict so just give it a slightly different name and everything should be fine. Okay thanks for watching this fifth tutorial on Tebow Cam. In the next tutorial we're going to look at some of the more advanced options available in Tebow Cam.